Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a basic auto hotkey script that will help you fill out online forms. For demo purposes, I created a dummy form using Excel on the right side. And on the left side, you will see the auto hotkey with basic information. So whenever you are online, Many times the web page will ask you for your basic information, such as your first name, last name, email, address, phone number, sometimes even date of birth. And then also, as we all know, we do a lot of shopping online. Many web pages are asking you for payment information. Yes, I do know that most browsers have a autofill capability where it saves that but for those of us that like to be more secure and keeping that information to ourselves in this case it would be only stored in the auto hotkey such as your credit card information this would be a good practice to utilize going forward so let me let me run through this real quick on the left side, you see I designated the contact information. And as you can see from my previous videos, I use this closed bracket because that doesn't interfere with anything else I type during the day because whenever I type in close bracket first, so let me demo this, close bracket first, this will print John. And if I want to do the last name, close bracket last, this will print the last name. Obviously we all know our first name and last names, but I am just showing you for demo purposes. This can be useful if you have some kind of really long email and all these web pages online are asking us for our email addresses. So you can assign the email address and give it the close bracket email and it just replaces email with the real email. But of course it's fake again. Email, and let's say you have a really long street name and being lazy, or let's call it being efficient, we can assign a auto hotkey ADDR and this will print your long address city, state, zip, phone number, and DOB, date of birth. So you can see I can individually pick and choose, right? Some of these may make sense, such as email, maybe address, even city. I did Google the longest address in the US and I just gave it a one, two, three, four, five, but this is a legit address, Northeast Kentucky Industrial Parkway, just for references. Also, longest city is this one. I do not think that I can pronounce this city. Longest state, and so on. You see the zip code, if that sounds familiar. Yes, it is Beverly Hills, I believe, or California. Let me clear all the fields. But let's say you have a web page that you visit a lot, such as Amazon, for example, or let's say something else that you visit frequently and you don't want your information to be shared on the browser or on the web page itself. You can map these according to the way the web page is. And in this case, I kind of took this, all of these values and I'm sending them in a tab format down here in one shot. So I'm going to type in close bracket all, and this will send the first name, last name, email, and it will repeat the email and so on. So let me demo this. So if I do a close bracket all and hit enter, you see how this quickly filled out all of the fields for me. 
I know this is manual way and of course I'm retyping the stuff but if you watch further I am also doing it a dynamic way where you set the value once and you can reuse it throughout and same thing goes for the payment information such as down here I'm not sure how many of you do actually remember your credit card number I personally don't and I'm also security conscious in a way that I do not like to put my credit card out there but sometimes you just have to but this is a nice way to have auto hotkey store your credit card information so that way it is isolated to only your computer and your auto hotkey file so cc this will print the credit card number for this payment information i just gave it a closed bracket f for first name make it a little faster closed bracket l for last name expiration month month expiration year year and cvv this is all made up data and here's the last thing i am reusing or actually before that i'm doing the same thing i'm printing everything manually if i do a p all payment information all hit tab or enter key it doesn't matter it will print and fill out all the fields you do have to know the position of the fields but here is the dynamic way down here d a l l dynamic all you can assign variables so in this case i gave it the credit card number num and i gave it the value first name john last name smith 0424 cvv code is 987 and then i am sending the variables instead of actually retyping all of this stuff and as you can see num is going to print the number i'm going to send a tab keep in mind you have to have the variable in this percent sign in between the percent sign so you see each variable is isolated in a percent sign first name john last name smith and so on so let's let's try this one d all i'm gonna clear everything here and it didn't clear it all that's okay okay let's send the d a l l and it does the same thing so i kind of find this more useful because you don't have to retype all of your variables you just type them once and you reuse the actual variable names instead of the values so yeah i wanted to give a quick demo on how you can fill out your basic info fields on different pages and i hope that you found this video useful please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button thank you for watching